The Quincy Police Department held another presentation tonight to answer questions about proposed automatic license readers. At New at 10, while some residents expressed their support, others say they don't want the program to be approved. WGEN's Charity Bell joins us in studio now with more. Charity? Daniel and McKenzie, about 40 people attended the nearly three hour meeting tonight. Some people tell me they changed their minds after the presentation, but the general consensus is residents are concerned with the possible program. I heard questions like what kind of private information will be gathered, who will have access to that data for how long and what can they do with that information? Quincy Police Chief Adam Yates says the cameras are designed to take pictures of the back of license plates and can be used in a number of situations. Yates says the license readers will not have access to driver's license information, vehicle registration, concealed carry status, or Illinois specific warrants. He says Quincy owns the photos and has the discretion to share them with other jurisdictions to help them in their investigations, but no other entity has direct access to the photos. Second Ward Alderman Jeff Bergman says he wants to help the police department get the tools it needs to solve and prevent crime, while also at the same time protecting the rights of Quincy residents. So whether stolen cars, if a car was used in a crime, so it's wanted for a particular crime, we would, you know, and it was entered in NCIC, we would get that information. If it's part of an Amber Alert, that would go in the NCIC computer and we would know if it came to Quincy. Uh, if there was someone that was elderly that was missing or someone that was suicidal and we had enough information to have that plate in the computer, we would get a hit on that plate and we would know that that car was in Quincy and then we would begin searching for it. Uh, we have the funding mechanism with the budget to control this and it will be stopped if it becomes an issue. So just let the public realize that our concern is to protect their constitutional right in this while giving the police department a method to help solve crimes and prevent crimes. Yates says Pete Police will be trained before they can use the software. He says if audits show an officer is misusing the technology, they will face disciplinary action and possible termination. Bergman says neighbors in his ward have expressed support for this proposal. A number of people at the meeting tonight shared their thoughts with me. One Quincy resident says after the meeting, he now believes this can be an effective tool to cut down on crime in the city. Another resident says she's not in favor of the program and questions the accuracy of how the cameras can indicate the actions a person has committed. Because I still think that it's going to help uh, cut down on the crime in Quincy. I know there's some trouble spots in Quincy there that needs to be addressed. Uh, so I think this will be another effective tool uh, helping Quincy Police Department with their work there. My thoughts are um, I hope that the City Council after tonight and listening to opinions and voices of the people realize that we are opposed to it um, and, and just listen to our thoughts and opinions on it because, it because tonight from what I heard most of us are. Chief Yates says they're working on writing up a, a use policy for the program and hope to have it done by Friday. He says Flock provides a portal that residents would be able to access to see how the cameras are being used in Quincy. Charity Bell, WGEM News.